Mads here from Herman's RV Holidays. And just recently, myself and Zoe went off in Herman to the motorhome and caravan show at the NEC in the UK. We're not thinking about buying, and we're not thinking about replacing Herman. The kind of thing that we look out for are motorhomes with a rear lounge. Herman doesn't have one, we don't have any children, so a rear lounge to sit and relax would be ideal for us. During the video you may see clips like this where I'm, you see me talking but of course it's not lip sync at all. That's because I had audio problems and I'm having to redo the commentary. In this video we'll be looking at Swift. Okay so this is a Swiftcon Tiki 649 at 96,000 pounds. Let's take a look inside. It's a nice dining area, sitting lounge kind of space. There's a sleeping area up there. It's a bit high to get in and out though, isn't it? And apparently these turn into a bed as well, but I can't see that happening if someone's up there as well. And here's where we have the kitchen area. Very nice actually. Very stylish. And then the bathroom is somewhere Where here. Oh, bathroom shower. Quite roomy. You can sit down in that one as well by the looks of things. Fridge freezer is near the lounge. That's weird. And then we have this very large shaped lounge which looks very cozy mm. huge lockers it's quite heavy yeah that's not that old slam <laughs> although it's not slamming now and I guess this can turn into a bed too. Yeah, it turns into a bed. What's this little cupboard for? Oh, there's a table and another table. Is that a table? I don't know what that is. And then here, and here is a little wardrobe. Some drawers down there. Toilet sink shower. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting that to stop coming out. So looking at the lockers here, the garage for this one is quite small. I mean, you're not going to get a bike in here, but uh, that is simply because of. because of the lounge above. Also you've got the six wheels. There's some more storage space there. Okay, so this is the uh, Bessica uh, 562. 58,000. 58, almost 59,000. It's quite a small motorhome, but it's got quite a lot of room inside. I think we've seen similar ones, haven't we? And there's no steps. There's no chance of me hitting my head. Positive locker. Positive. Positive no, locker, whatever no, that means. Negative. There's not yes. a lot of room in them, but in those lockers. Kitchen looks quite posh, doesn't it? Where would you keep your cutlery? Hold on. Is that is that the cutlery drawer? No. Got the fridge there. It's the sink, I think. Sink draining board. Oh look at that. Bit of extension. Of course, you're going to have to build the bed though each yes, night. Yes, because you've got no um, over. So they look funny before nights, aren't they? Mm. Oh, yes, and the, the shower bathroom. is separate. Bathroom. Separate bathroom toilet. Mm. And the 
driving area looks cosy, comfortable, adequate. Let's take a look outside then, shall we? Yeah, it's a similar length to Herman, which is about six meters. We can't get around there, but that's uh, that's the Swift just there. Take a look at this lock. Oh, there's the uh, the gas. For, that's for the gas bottles. What about round here? There is a locker, but it's it's gonna be uh, small. Probably going underneath the sofa there. Next, we have the Swift Corniche 674 at 52,880 pounds. This motorhome has kind of confused me because I can't find it online. The Swift website tells me that this is actually an Escape 674. We're going to be starting off in the kitchen here. You can see the microwave and the gas hob and oven and the sink. I didn't notice at the time but I do like the curving uh, style that they have in this motorhome. It's all over the place. Moving into the lounge, obviously it's a U-shaped lounge looks quite comfortable not leather but that's fine and I'm not too sure who's going to be sitting on that part of the sofa opposite the kitchen is the bathroom and it looks like it's one of those wet room ones where the shower and the toilet and basin are all combined it's just separated by a shower curtain and next to the bathroom is this what appears to be a very large fridge freezer I think there's plenty of room in there now as we spin the camera around you can see there's lots of lockers right above the seating area in the lounge there and a small roof light which would be great for additional sunlight coming through. We're now moving to the front and you can see that there is a adequate size dining area where I think you could probably seat around five people uh, but the table looks a little bit too small for five people. Just above the dining area is a drop down bed. Not a lot of room there for your duvet and your pillows, mine, so you might have to make it up every evening. Overall, I think the motorhome has a good use of space. So that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it useful. Did you go to the show? Did you see these motorhomes? What did you think of what I thought of these motorhomes? Let us know in the comments section below. We now have an online store where you can buy t-shirts, stickers, mugs, all that kind of thing. T-shirts come in different sizes, different colours for male and female and children. And all the designs on everything is actually designed by myself. And so head over there and see what you think of my designs. Thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more video updates or maybe even watch one of our previous videos. Bye bye now.